Hello and welcome to FAQ number four. Why does my perfume smell different than the one I bought a few years ago? There's two very good answers to this actually. One of them is that perhaps the formula has changed slightly. If you know about IFRA, the International Fragrance Association, they are a governing body they are a self-regulatory body and they examine the effects of fragrance materials on people's skin and whether they are safe or not and what ratio they are safe at before they actually cause a reaction or an allergy. You might see the word allergens in perfumery as well and some oils such as even jasmine. It's not even aroma chemicals that can cause allergic reactions, it's natural oils as well. So they actually limit the amount. So Chanel number no. five, quite for some years ago now, actually had to change their formula because one of the ingredients was now found to be a skin irritant so they had to change the formula slightly. The second reason is age. Like women perfumes get better with age. Now I wouldn't recommend spraying a vintage perfume on my skin. It might be nice to smell it from the bottle. I've got lots, if you've been in my scent studio, I've got lots of very very old fragrances, some of them from the 40s and I wouldn't dream of putting them on my skin because they're so old. But uh, the fragrance in perfume actually has a term, it's called maceration. And it's much like, uh, vegans, block your ears now, but it's much like if you like to marinate your ribs or your chicken and you know that if you marinate them overnight, those flavours are getting into the chicken and everything's macerating and marrying together to create a more beautiful, fragrant dish for you to eat. Well, it's the same with perfumery. So when you first create a fragrance, and this is why I tell my students, when you create a fragrance, don't make your mind up immediately whether you like it or not. If you've done your homework and you know how the materials work together, then you will know that you've created something that's balanced, but perhaps the aroma initially is not that great. You need to wait for those oils to work in harmony together to create some magic. So that's what happens. And this maceration process actually never stops. So if you have a vintage perfume, that maceration process will have continued. It, it's fast in the beginning, so that's why they recommend that waiting for the fragrance to mature, even after it's diluted, like when I make private label perfumes and my customers like want them now, I say we need to wait for the maceration process and we need to wait for at least four weeks after dilution. We need to wait at least four weeks for that fragrance to come into its own and then you can sell it. Otherwise, I think once you start selling it before it's macerated, then your customers might be quite disappointed in a month's time when the perfume smells quite different. But then this maceration process tends to slow down after a month or so. So that's another reason uh, why a very old fragrance will smell different than a very new fragrance because it's a new batch, it's not macerated for the same length of time and it will actually even change in colour as well because because natural oils change in colour as well. If you buy patchouli, um, if you look um, about look at patchouli, you can buy patchouli light and you can buy patchouli dark and because the patchouli over time becomes darker and it's richer and it's more fragrant and it's Oh, it's just beautiful. I love aged patchouli and that's in one of the lessons so you probably will have learnt about that already. So that's it. Why does your old fragrance smell different than your new one? Simple isn't it? Okay so I'll see you for our next FAQ.